while the government and the BJP leaders defend the actions or the questions which have been raised on the laxity and on the part of the police, the opposition is hitting out at the government of Haryana. Joining me now at this moment, Mr. Dipen Huda, Member of Parliament of the Congress Party who hails from the state of Haryana. Mr. Huda, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, though the situation, the government says in the last 24 hours has come under control, but tension still prevails, sir. We have ground reports which show that people have been asked, intimidated, threatened to leave Gurgaon, the millennium city, uh, which still persists, you know, the tension still persists in the area. How do you see the situation? See, first of all, what has happened in uh, Haryana is uh, very unfortunate and most painful to see because this particular region and Haryana as a whole, we have not had a history of uh, any kind of communal clashes or communal flare-ups. In fact, during 1947 also, during partition, because we were part of joint Punjab at that time, uh, there were a lot of uh, communal flare-ups, but this area had remained peaceful. Mewat, Gurgaon had remained peaceful even at that point of time. So, uh, what's happened now is uh, really unfortunate and the fault entirely lies on uh, with our state government. This is result of governance failure uh, uh, of all the inputs that we have and I'm sure all the reports because yeah, you know the government this was a procession which was uh, taking place takes place uh, uh, in past also and every time police protection has been provided this time this procession mm. was taking place in an environment where videos were circulating etc but uh, the government did not provide, uh, deploy any adequate num uh, uh, number of police protection or police uh, forces or administration was not deployed and uh, the people were left to fend for themselves, leading to a situation which was completely avoidable. So it's a fault, uh, administrative uh, failure of, uh, it's a proof of administrative failure of the government, government to take responsibility. Yes, okay. what are saying that bla that situation is turning to normal and I also and that's our number one priority also uh, right but uh, you know the police not being able to control the situation there was uh, already social media messages from uh, either sides Monu Manesar had put out some videos there were videos from the other side uh, threatening him with dire consequences do you think the local administration the police and the government their intelligence unit completely failed Absolutely. And that's why I say that the government cannot run away from taking the moral responsibility by saying the chief minister saying that it's pre-planned, etc. Both the questions raised by our uh, MOS uh, 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 in the union government and local BJP MP, Ravindarjit, he has also raised uh, questions pointing to administrative failure. And the CM has also raised questions uh, which are relevant pointing to administrative failure, which I am also pointing out to, as well as the local police officials, both on the intelligence side and the police uh, side, what they have given uh, those interviews, those are also pointing to exactly the same. So what my point is, on one side, yes, what you, the point you made earlier, that uh, the social fabric needs to be, the government should be uh, careful in ensuring that people don't cross red lines on uh, social media to which cause such tension build up, etc. But at the same time, Government should act in time. Had the government acted in time, and you know, uh, one more thing, uh, the SP of this particular district was on leave. Chief Minister mm. pointed out today in his press conference, mm. the SP was on leave. So when the SP is on leave, who's the other SP who has, who has been given charge? Because there are people, there are reports which say that the SP Palwal, the neighboring district, was given charge only after the riots had broken up. So on such a sensitive day of such a procession. You know, the SP is on leave and there is no other SP. And this is a question of, again, that the government has to answer. This, these are uh, reports which have come to us, but I have not seen the order and the timing of those orders, but government can answer. Mr. Huda, I want to talk to you particularly about one individual called Monu Manesar, who has been named, uh, you know, he's a, a controversial figure wanted by in certain cases in Haryana and also in a very serious case in Rajasthan. He's coming out, releasing videos, talking to the media. The police says he's still ab absconding. Do you see some sort of state patronage for him? See the law about anyone. The law should take its own course. I'm not aware of the details of the matter. But uh, in the uh, news, I've read that there are certain uh, 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 criminal matters which are in which he has been named and the police is out, uh, on lookout for him. So any police and again I don't want to 
differentiate between one state or the other state because it becomes a political matter then if there is a, a person like that then if uh, you know any police they should uh, uh, you know do their duty and uh, law should uh, you know take its own course if he needs to be apprehended then so be it but why it is not happened that is another question for both the police who uh, that they can both the police should answer that question Mr. Huda, the Chief Minister today uh, in the press conference spoke about uh, his inability or the government's inability. He said that there are 60,000 police force. The government cannot ensure that there can be a policeman guarding every citizen. Uh, a lot of criticism is also coming on his way, making this statement at the time when people are looking for assurances by the Chief Minister. Most, uh, this is uh, uh, most, um, uh, most unfortunate statement coming out from such a high office. He has said that Haryana is about 3 crore population and only 60,000 police. You know, uh, the, the most prime responsibility for of any state government is to provide security and safety to every citizen. Every citizen should feel safe and secure. That's the prime responsibility of the government. That's why we have a government. And uh, if Mr. Khattar is, uh, we, always, we already knew because many times Haryana, the law and order uh, machinery is completely collapsed in the past during his regime. But he is now openly admitting it and saying, to, we, we know that he is unable, but to say it that I am not able is a most unfortunate. If he is unable to do it, let him say, step aside. We are ready to step in. We have proved in the past 10 years of Congress government in Haryana, not one riot had taken place. There was not one such incident. And if he says it, let him take the moral responsibility, give us the uh, the charge we will prove again that okay. security can be provided to all.